Hey, so um, I'm going to do a little review of Mastering Levin. Unfortunately, I don't have the book on me right now, but I have just completed Mastering Levin. Yay! It took me way too freaking long. I read it really slow. I looked at the provided studies, which he has like 900 of. I didn't look at all of them, but I looked at some of the bigger statements and claims he was making. Um, or that they were making in the book and uh, see how he substantiated them and they you know he does a really great job like he this Mastering Leptin is a phenomenal book and it ha ha helps you really conceptualize what is happening in the body um, it goes it goes on some stretches sometimes and talks about um, Leptin being like the end all be all and it is a huge proponent but sometimes I think like what happens is when you, you know, balance out your leptin levels, which is, you know, a, a hormone that is most iconically known for its ability to regulate uh, appetite, uh, it, it, by, re by actually getting your leptin levels in control, everything else falls in control, and it's hard to say that leptin is necessarily the, the re that is the result, because leptin is in, in now in uh, control, you can't necessarily say that everything else didn't fall into place because of other reasons, but I mean he buy, provides for basically for everything really good solid solid backing for what he's for most of his statements are. Um, he goes by or they go by the five rule program, which is like no snacking and like uh, not a lot of sugar eat fruits and vegetables, some other things. I can't remember them all, but they're, um, it, it's a, it was a really great book. Um, and he, you know, he talks about uh, cancer being linked to leptin. Uh, he talks about insulin resistance. The two things that he's, he, they talk about a lot is uh, appetite and craving regulation, um, insulin resistance, uh, leptin resistance and adrenaline resistance, and he links these very significantly. I think they're after reading that. I, I'm convinced that they're they're 100 percent linked uh, or 99 percent linked, uh, being resistance of insulin, adrenaline, and uh, leptin. Um, if you get a chance, like you, you'll learn so much. You, they, he does, uh, he does another uh, talk uh, for those of you who are interested in uh, intermediate fasting. He does a, he does a bit about HGH. Uh, they talk about you know, how HGH is actually correlated with diabetes if you're artificially injecting it. Um, he talks about regulating testosterone levels. He talks about menopause. I keep saying he, but they. It's a collaborative effort between him and his wife. Um, and he, it's just like, a, it's a book that will, when you pick it up, I guess it's kind of a hard, not really, I, it seems to read pretty fast, but because I was going in and reading it, and then I got ideas, I was like, oh, that's correlated, let's see how this implies here, and then I would go on PubMed and apply the ideas and see how that worked and then, you know, try and see if I could find something that contradicted it and sometimes there were some ideas and sometimes there weren't and, like, it was it was such a, a learning experience and if you take an active learning experience while you're reading the book, like, I come away, I, I came away a lot smarter. I mean, I was doing other things as well, but, uh, because I was, I kept going to that book after, you know, I've solve whatever interest I was, you know, doing, if I was looking at more on HGH, and I was like, alright, I'm done with HGH, and then I would, like, go into heart disease, see what that's going on with heart disease, because he was talking about heart disease and leptin, and I would go into the provided studies and other studies that uh, are a little bit more recent, and see how, what their, you know, conceptualization is, and see the mechanisms of insulin resistance, and it was just, like, one of the best things I've ever done for myself, I feel like, um, besides getting into UMass, it was probably a good idea. <laughs> um, so, uh, if you get the chance, it's a, 
375 page book with about a thousand direct references. I think there's some other ones that you can find. Um, no, he's got meta analysis and everything in there. So, uh, I would be a little careful. I don't agree with everything he says. I would say I agree with like 80% of what he says. Um, he doesn't recommend doing any high intensity exercise and things. But, I mean, his. What he's pertaining to is the general population, I think, and he's certainly not trying to you know, maximize your muscle tissue or things, but he does, uh, so it's good for the general population, it's great for weight loss, um, for some, for, for the most part, uh, there's better, there's some little tweaks I would do, uh, but that was a, a really great experience, and if you get a chance, Mastering Repland, it's been recommended before, by again, it's someone who I can't remember, but he, uh, but yeah, uh, read Mastering Leptin. That's all I can say. Uh, there's another one, um, something McDonald, uh, I was recommended to. I never thought I'd understand, like, the hormonal component about lifting. You know, I'd always thought I was going to be like, oh, testosterone goes up when I wake up, or, and then... Insulin, I knew, like, insulin's for diabetics, and, like, that, 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 and I didn't know anything about how diabetes worked, that he thought, you know, if type, diabetes don't have enough insulin, just give them more insulin, that's what we do, but in reality, if you look at type 2, they have enough, um, insulin, and then also if you look at obese people, you say, okay, leptin's an act, uh, um, uh, appetite regulating hormone, give them leptin, they're resistant, and it's just like, it It really opens your mind up to what you could potentially be when you're you know, thinking about um, exercise, diet, nutrition, all aspects. I mean, we definitely don't want to overcomplicate it, you know, this, but it definitely goes beyond calories in versus calories out. I explained that in a couple other uh, videos that I have called uh, a calorie is a calorie is a calorie question mark <laughs> so again uh take a read into mastering leptin uh it's not the end all be all but it for damn sure will get your foot in the door and actively read it don't just read it as if you're reading some sort of i don't know textbook read it as if you're le reading almost like a fantasy novel like engage yourself visualize that's what's going to get you to be able to learn. And if you don't understand something, slow down, reread it, read a couple, two pages of before, and then if you don't still don't understand it, go on the web, go look at Wikipedia, do something, and then you know look at the references and just try and build a, a working knowledge of uh, what they're talking about in the book. And that's what it's all about. You know, that book may be. 375 pages, but what you can learn beyond is, is far beyond that if you you know take an active uh, active role in it. So thank you very much. That's been my review of Mastering Leptin. Uh, I don't have too many other diet books that I've read, um, but uh, when I do get some more, when I get to some more underneath my belt, I'll uh, I read Sugar Busters. That was okay. That was just all, insulin goes up, eat more whole grains, diabetes is linked to uh, glucose, and then it gave a bunch of recipes. Personally, I don't want to read recipes when I'm looking at a diet book. I don't really care. Um, I want to understand the mechanisms, and I'll make the food that I want myself, and, you know, or I'll look it up online or something. There's plenty of recipes there. Uh... I just want to get to the facts. Um, so, but yeah, when I read other books, when I have some time, uh, I will go ahead and throw those up. Uh, and, you know, I'll try and do a review of Atkins, 801010, and all this other stuff. I may not read all those books, though, because I think it might be a waste of my time. Uh, for the most part. But I'm not 100% sure. Um... Everyone's got good ideas, so you just have to kind of blend them all together. Like Lane Norton says, you, it, none of this binariness. You know, you can't just take one and then the other and say that's good, that's bad. There's always a middle. Not that he coined that, but 
If you need a reference, he's not a bad one. He's a good researcher, for the most part. Uh, everyone has his fallacies, and he admits to them, too, because, you know, he's always willing to uh, critique as studies come out, and so am I. All right, well, thank you very much. That's been a review of Mastering Leptin. Hopefully it wasn't too boring for you. And uh, hope you have a great day, and never forget to uh, keep pushing yourself um, and work your brain as much as you work your biceps. All right, have a good day.